there's a lot of talk about Medicare for all. What does that mean? A new report from the Republican-led Congressional Budget Office finds that scrapping our corporate health care system and instead shifting towards a Medicare for all-like medical system would confer numerous benefits, including boosting the economy and helping out workers in several other ways. It's no secret that I support Medicare for all. I don't. Consider the report in its own words. Households health insurance premiums would be eliminated and their out-of-pocket health care costs would decline. I think everyone should essentially be able to be from age one on, essentially have the same kind of coverage you have in Medicare. The reduction in health insurance premiums and out-of-pocket expenses would generate a positive wealth effect, allowing households to spend their time on activities other than paid work and maintain the same standard of living. It should be just universal, across the board. We could afford to do that. It is totally unrealistic. It can't be done. Longevity and labor productivity would increase as people's health outcomes improved. Democrats aren't just running on good old ideas, they're running on good new ideas, like Medicare for all. And yet, for all of the benefits that are outlined by the Republican-led CBO in this report, Medicare for all legislation remains stalled. I support a public option. Provide a public option. Providing a public option. Provide a public option. But Biden hasn't pushed that public option plan as president. He didn't even include it in his budget plan last year. We can get a public option passed and we can get it passed quickly. It can happen immediately. I can get it passed. Instead, he and Democratic leaders have adopted proposals from health insurance lobbyists to further entrench our corporate health care system and put more Americans on for-profit subsidized health insurance plans. Further subsidize the ability to get into a goal plan. The CBO is hardly some bastion of left-wing utopianism, and in a money-drenched political system, the federal government rarely admits these scathing truths about our status quo, especially truths that really illuminate how much much better life would be for millions of Americans if we were to adopt the reforms that other countries made a long time ago. The real problem is going to be taking on those insurance companies.